All right, this is Al Bain, Al Bain for Leather, and um, we're going to talk about uh, sewing slowly using the electronic positioning system. So as we know, if we tap the, the treadle, it's just going to go one full cycle. Okay, that's just a normal speed for the um, system just to run. So if that scares you, then maybe uh, operating one of these machines is out of your league and go get your money back. Did I say that out loud? Anyway, I'm just kidding. But um, people say that the startup speed on the EPS is too fast. You can't really change that. But And, and they claim erroneously that the EPS won't creep. But I don't see. Like normally I sew this like this. Full speed, right? I don't like going in between because I, you know, I don't want to sit here for two hours sewing one strap. But if I have to creep up, I can make the servo go really slow and get going stop bury the needle cycle 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 one stitch or creep and just about any speed in between So here's the deal. It's how hard you jam your toe into the pedal, right? Just like driving a car, you can just creep up on it or you can stab it and burn rubber. It's completely up to you. So understand that the more you press the treadle pedal forward, the faster it's going to go. So basically when, when I'm stitching, I, I use a lightweight sneaker. I don't wear my big cowboy boots or my big Doc Martens or nothing, or sometimes even barefoot. But barefoot around the shop isn't a very smart idea but but what i basically tell people is just flex your big toe just flex your toe down makes your your shoe flex and there you go you can control pretty easily it's not about your ankle or your knee just barely step on it by flexing your toe and when you really got to go give or go Woo All right, Albane, Albane for leather, please pay it forward.